I S U P K. They try to tell me I can't win all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again, and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They divided and they conquered my kin But separated by the pigmentation of our skin It's just that white supremacy agenda again They want your mind and gold, cutting sugar cane, turning cotton jigs We left the plantation, then they pushed us into tenements Police patrolling, hunting all my people like we're venison The government's the criminals, they the real terrorists Moving more coke than a Cuban watching pelicans Selling all the dope, trying to kill us with the medicine You a slave if you think that we're American America was great before the pilgrims from side of settlement, Trump gets in office, blacks uniting with the Mexicans, black Hispanic, Haitians, Jamaicans, we all relatives. Spoiler Spirit, we are the ISUPK, coming out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yehana. ISUPK is not affiliated with any religious group or organization. What you need to know today is that the Christian Church will not teach you what is in this Bible. Right. What, in the, what is in this Bible will help fix black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community. What is in this Bible will help, will help fix Silots, will help, help fix John John, Chumaca, Broadway, and all these different places here in Trinidad. Right. This Bible, when being read in the Christian church, is not letting you understand what is in it. What you need to know as a black, Hispanic, or Native Indian man is what's in this Bible. Not what your pastor say. Because your pastor is going to tell you what is on his mind. He's going to tell you what is in his thoughts, what he feel, or what he read out of some book by some inspirational speaker. But today, we're going to go in the Bible and show you what you need to know as a black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man. Give me the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. The book of Acts 5 and verse 29. What? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. So Peter and the other apostles answered and said. You will hear what they answered and said. Go ahead, read. We ought to obey God. We ought to what? To obey God. We ought to what? Obey God. We ought to obey God. We ought to obey God, not our Christian pastor not our religious leaders, not the members of parliament, not the prime minister, we ought to obey God. Go ahead. Rather than men. Rather than who? Rather than men. Rather than the men that is merely in this world. We ought to obey God rather than men. Give me the book of Deuteronomy. Because what you don't know, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man, we as a people ought to obey God rather than men. And you will see why we ought to obey, obey God because you don't know who you are as a people. We think, we think to cling, we want to cling to all these other nations and we don't know our true history, they need our identity. Right. Go ahead, read. The book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people. The thou being spoken here of is you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. This is the things your Christian pastor will not teach you. Go ahead, read. Unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God has chosen you, so-called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. The Lord thy God has chosen you. That is in Silas. You, that is in Marvel. You, that is in Broadway. Right. You, that is in Tumacac. The Lord has chosen you. Go ahead, read. To be a special people. To be what? To be a special people. To be what? To be a special people. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be a special people. Go ahead. Unto himself. Unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people. No together. Above all people. No underneath. Above all people. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be above all all people that are upon the face of the earth. Go ahead, read. That are upon the face of the earth. So the most high power has chosen you, black man, 
Hispanic man and native Indian man to be above all people. But when we go into the Christian church, our Christian pastors and religious leaders tell us what? We are all together. It's one love. But the Lord is letting you know we are to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But where else today? We are at the bottom. That is why in our ghettos there is so much police brutality. That is why these other nations bring in drugs in our communities. That's we don't right. own the shipping ports. We don't have no, have no link for, no, for those big drug industries. We don't have no link for no guns. These other nations look at us and tell us what? We are lazy. We are cockroaches. We are, we are specks. We are wetbacks. This is what they look and they tell us. We don't have these links for these things. But the Lord has told us what? He has chosen us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Because what you don't know, and what your Christian pastor won't teach you, that Christ is a black man. Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. Right. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are part of the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. But you don't know that. You are the two Jews. You are the Hebrew Israelites of this Bible. But when you go into the church, your Christian pastor, time and time again, they will not teach you that. They will teach you how to sing and dance and sing a good song. They will teach you how to take your money out of your pocket and give it to them. When you look at them, they're driving nice cars, expensive house. They have 29 million in the goddamn church and where the people at. When you look at, when you look at, at Marval and Silat and Pitom, look how, look how our people are living. When these Christian pastors are waxing fat off of your pocket right. because you don't know who you are. Go ahead, read. The book of Matthew 15 and verse 24. Go ahead, read. But he answered and said, Go ahead. I am not sent. So Christ is answering and saying here, yeah, He is not sent. He was not sent. Go ahead. But unto the lost sheep. But unto who? But unto the lost sheep. No, unto the Chinese. But unto the lost sheep. Unto the Syrians. But unto the lost sheep. Or unto the East Indians. But unto the lost sheep. Christ is saying for him from his own mouth that he is not sent. But unto the lost sheep. Go ahead. Of the house of Israel. Of the house of Israel. That is what came out from Christ's mouth. Christ was from the ghetto, just like you, so called black man, right. Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Right. That's Nazareth. Right was one of the worst ghettos in Israel. Right, right. The same way how they look at Silat and John John and Tumaka and Marval, all these places, this is where Christ came from. Right. Christ know your oppression. Christ was not sent for nobody else but unto these people that are suffering. These That's people right. that are suffering under the hands of our oppressors. These people that are being shut down. These people that drugs are coming into their goddamn communities. Christ was not sent but unto who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, right. So, so to further iterate, who are the lost sheep? We're going to see where the Lord is saying, who are these lost sheep? What happened to these lost sheep? We are lost because we don't know who we are. We're walking around thinking we have Chinese, half black, half Indian, and all kind of madness. But when you come into the ISUPK under Commanding General Eana, you're going to learn your laws, your culture, your history. Right. You're going to learn who you are. You're going to learn that you are supposed to be above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right. And not just settle for any crumbs that they throw at you. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, read. The book of Jeremiah 15 and verse 17. Go ahead. Israel is a scattered sheep. Israel is what? Israel is a scattered sheep. The Lord is letting you know that Israel is a scattered sheep. We don't have our own land. We are amongst all these other nations right. that are upon the face of the earth. We don't understand that we, as Black Hispanics and Native Indians, are among all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right. And guess what? We don't know that we are slaves between all these nations. We are the bottom, and we help build all these other nations' economy. But we don't understand that. As I just said before, because they throw crumbs at us, we feel part of their society. We feel intermingled. We feel together. When the Lord is not about being together with all these other nations. Right. You need to separate and build yours. Love your own people and help build back your nation. Right. Because you are scattered amongst all these nations. 
Go ahead, read. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Go ahead, you'll see what happened to you, so called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Go ahead, read. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. The Lord is letting you know you are going to serve your enemies. When we came across from the transatlantic slave trade, we were given into the hands of our enemies. We were to serve our enemies, not our friends. Go ahead, read. Which the Lord sent against thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us because we didn't want to listen to his voice. We didn't want to keep his laws, commandments, and statutes. The same thing we are not doing today. Go ahead, read. In hunger and in thirst. When we want things to eat or we want things to drink, we need to go to our enemies. We don't own all these big establishments out here. Right. Go ahead, read. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. Even the clothes that we wear, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and all these different things, we need to go to them right. to get it. Go ahead, read. And in want of all things. And in want of what? And in want of all things. Do some things. And in want of all things. When we need to get all things, we need to go to our enemies for it. Go ahead, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron right. upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And guess what? When we were destroyed, by not knowing who we are as a people, look at us out here now. We are walking all about the place. That yoke of iron was taken from our necks. Now we don't know who we are. We don't know we are the true Jews. We don't know that we are the Hebrew Israelites of this Bible. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. What? And the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all people. We read earlier that we, Israel, is scattered among all people. Now you're going to understand that the Lord has scattered the God from one end of the earth amongst all people from one end of the earth God even unto the other even unto the other so blacks, Hispanics and native Indians we are scattered all over the face of the earth Go ahead, read and there thou shalt serve other gods we shall serve what? other gods and there we served other gods we start to serve Islam we run up in the Christian church we start to do nature worship and all this garbage. Go ahead, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And neither us or our forefathers have known this. Go ahead, read. Even wood and stone. Even what? Wood and stone. Christian cross and the cobbler stone that the Muslims worship after. These is the things that we follow as a people. And this is what your Christian pastor is not going to teach you. You right. need to come out of the Christian church. You need to get into the SUPK so that you can go into your Bible and see what's really happening there as a people. To see why our people is in this condition. Give me 16. Verse 68. What? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord said that he is going to bring you into Egypt. Egypt meaning bondage. Go ahead. Right. Again with ships. You're going to do it again how? With ships. That's how we came across here from the transatlantic slave trade. The Lord bring us across here in ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak to thee. The same way he said it is going to happen is the same way it actually happened. Go ahead, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And you so called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man, you will not see your homeland again. Go ahead, read. And there. Yeah, you shall be sold unto your enemies. No, we shall be friends with our enemies. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We as a people were sold unto our enemies. We will be see, we will see what we were sold for. Or as go ahead, read. For born men. We were sold for slave men. Go ahead. And born women. And slave women. Look at our people today. At the bottom of every society. At the bottom of every nation, building up every goddamn nation on the face of this earth. Right. And what do we have for ourselves? What do we have to call our own? We have nothing to call our own. And Christ knows the oppression that his people has been going through. Go ahead, read. And no man shall buy you. And guess what? No man. And guess what? No man is going to redeem you. Marcus Garvey tried, failed. Martin Luther King tried, failed. Malcolm X tried, failed. 
And there's a lot of black in the black goddamn groups that keep trying. Because the black caucus movement, look at the states are still still. Fail. Right. Look at the states are John John still. Fail. These people keep failing us. The Lord said that no man is going to buy you. No man is going to redeem you from the condition that the Lord put you in. Right. And we need to know that we need to come back keeping the Lord's commandments and statutes in this book that the Christian church say is done away with. This is what is going to bring people from the lowest part up to the highest part in society today. Go ahead, give me Matthew 1 and 21. The book of Matthew 1 and verse 21. Go ahead, read. And she shall bring forth a son. And the she being spoken of here is Mary. Mary is going to bring forth a son. Go ahead, read. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And, and when Jesus, when Mary brings forth this son, his name is to be called Jesus. Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. Go ahead. And he shall save his people. No, he shall save everybody. His people. No, he shall save East Indians alone. His people. The Chinese alone. His people. The Lord said that when Jesus come about, when Mary brings forth Jesus, he is going to save what? His people. Who? He is going to save his people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The Lord is here. The Lord came to save you from Good. your oppression under the hands of these other nations. That's because right. you were sold into slavery for born men and born women. Right. Guess right. what? To this day, you are not redeemed. Right. To this day, you so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian man, you have not been redeemed. That's you right. are still slaves. You are still born men and born women. Remember to tell us chapter five. In this society, man, and you need to wake up and understand that Christ is not coming, not going to make a second return for everybody. Christ was only sent to a particular people. As we read earlier, we see where he separated his people. Where his Savior is coming for his people. Let's see what Christ told his disciples. Go ahead, read. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying... So Christ sent forth his twelve disciples and commanded them. He gave them a command and tell them what? Go ahead. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Christ said to his 12 disciples, do not go into the way of the Gentiles. The Gentiles here is these other nations. Do not go to the Chinese. Do not go to the Japanese. Do not go to the Arabs. Do not go to the East Indians. Go ahead, read. And in any city, of the Samaritans, enter ye not. And don't go into the cities of these Gentiles. Right. Go ahead. But rather go to the lost sheep. But rather go to you so-called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Go ahead, read. Of the house of Israel. Christ is telling his disciples, go rather to the lost sheep. The lost sheep is us here in Silas, in Marofal. We are lost. We don't know who we are. Right. We are lost. Our people in all these ghettos are lost. They don't know their history, their identity, and their culture. Christ said, go where? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ sent out his disciples to the ghettos. Christ sent out his disciples to Labre, to Point, to, to Silots, to Beatum. These are the places Christ sent his people. Because our people are in the worst condition here today in Trinidad. Our people are in the worst conditions in Jamaica, right. in Barbados, and all these islands where blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are. These are the people who Christ sent his, his disciples to. And these are the people that we are out here for in the ISUPK under Commanding General Leana. Now you're going to see how Christ functioned out of his own mouth. You're going to see how Christ dealt with the people. We're not going to show you how Christian pastors deal with the people. We're going to show you out of this book how Christ dealt with his people and with the other nations. We're going to see that in the Christian church, your pastors are not telling you the correct thing. That's right. They are not going into this Bible to show you who Christ is, who the true Jews are, and why black people are in this condition they are here in Trinidad and Tobago. Go ahead, read. The book 
of Matthew 15 and verse 21. What? And then Jesus went tents and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon is two African trading nations. Go ahead, read. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him. So a woman from Canaan, which is a white woman, came unto Christ and cried unto him. Go ahead, read. Saying, have mercy on me, O Lord. And the woman was telling Christ, have mercy on me, O Lord. Because the woman knew that Christ was for his people. That Christ came to save his people. So she's telling him, Lord, have mercy on me. Go ahead, read. Thou son of David. Go ahead. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. The woman is letting Christ know, Christ, I know you are for your people, but my, my daughter is vexed with the spirit. My daughter has a demon on her. Go ahead, read. But he answered her not but a he did word. What? He did what? But he answered her not a word. And the Christian church will make you feel Christ is about hugs and kisses. Christ ignored her. Christ didn't answer her. Christ did not answer her a word. Go ahead, read. He answered not a word. Go ahead. And his disciples came and besought him. And his disciples came and said, Christ, go ahead, read. Saying, send her away. For she cried after us. Even Christ's disciples said, when the woman came for help, she, the kids' disciples said, send her away. Do I have nothing to do with she sent she away? Go ahead, read. But he answered and said, what? I am not sent. He answered and said, what? I am not sent. Christ answered his disciples. When his disciples said, get rid of that white woman, send her away. He answered and said, what? I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ knew his mission. Christ knew that he was not sent by the Father, but unto the so-called people in the ghetto, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, unto blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. But we sit in the goddamn church thinking that Christ loved everybody, that Christ is here for everybody. Then came she and worship him saying so the same woman that the disciples sent away they came to she came to christ again saying go ahead read lord help me she came pleading lord help me go ahead but he answered and said so he answered now and said go ahead it is not meat christ is saying to the woman the white woman it is not good go ahead to take the children's bread. To take the children's bread. The children of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And cast it to dogs. It is not good to take the children's meat and cast it to who? To dogs. To, and cast it to dogs. Christ called the white woman a what? A dog. Good. And this is what your Christian church is not going to tell you. Christ is not here for everybody. Good. Christ is here for blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. This right. is what we need to understand. Christ was not sent, but unto the Lordship of the house of Israel. So even if we go out and vote next month, and we want to join hands with everybody, we want to vote for yellow, we want to vote for red, when in the Bible tells you about voting, you're not supposed to set a king over you that is from another nation. Right. Even if you still want to go and do that, because why? Christian church and these religious leaders make you feel that everybody's one. Everything is nice. We could all come together. Hear what Christ has to say. Go ahead, read. The book of Proverbs 11 and verse 21. Go ahead. Do hand join in hand. Christ is letting you know. Do hand join in hand. If you want to go out and vote for oppressors, you want to go out and vote for other nations to continue oppressing your people, yes. to continue bringing in drugs and guns in your goddamn community, to continue going into these um, political institutions and fattening their pockets. You want to still feel everybody's together? Listen to what the Lord has to say. Take it from the top. The book of Proverbs 11 and verse 21. Go ahead. Go hand, join in hand. Go hand, join in hand. Even if you want to be together, you want to hug up the East Indian, you want to hug up the white man, you want to hug up the Chinese, you want to join with them, 
Go ahead. The wicked shall not go unpunished. The Lord is letting you know the wicked is not going to go unpunished. Right. They are not going to go unpunished for the crimes that they have done to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. They are not going to go unpunished for the drugs that they are bringing in into our black communities because our brothers and sisters that's coming in from Venezuela, these Chinese prostituting them in the institutions. That's these right. East Indians grabbing them up and have them working for extra nothing. That's right. right. The Lord is letting you know, you want to join with them? Go ahead and join, but they are not going to be unpunished. The white man is the devil, our history is evidence. Who say I'm racist by definition, I'm prejudiced. Got a right to be hesitant, ask the African Methodists. We the endangered species, they'd rather protect the elephants. We the sons of God like a seraphim. God chose the people from the Old and New Testament. Black power, Kwong Yasha Allah, black excellence. We your new rulers, bow down to your eminence. They try to tell me I can't win, all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again, and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They try to make you think rich. Why? To make your whole life a big risk. So what you do? Commit a crime, get locked up, come home, can't get a job. Man, that shit just make you think bricks. They trap you. Ain't no way out of this poverty. Fuck being the prodigy, cause the world say you ain't shit. And then they give you religion as soon as all that fails. They like to make you feel it ain't this, it's you. So what you do, you just can't get it right. Yeah, they like to say the truth hurts, but watch me take a life. And they like to keep you in darkness so you can't get the Christ. Not knowing like Jacob's sons, he is real light. Get it? So